When we played as Belgium, it was Kaiserreich game, right? We did a Kaiserreich as Belgium. It wasn't vanilla, was it? I'm pretty sure it was Kaiserreich. Anyway, we we kept it together. Right, because we had to form Belgium. You don't Belgium doesn't exist. It's like the something funny, isn't it? It's the Flanders Wallonian something something. Like it's not even called Belgium, I think. I don't know. Anyway, rural industry program is done, giving us an extra uh, research slot, which is great. Um. I think... It does give us equipment if we do that. And war support. Apparently lower Yangtze offensive. League of Nations is shattered, but its core, the Nanjing click, still survives, may stabilize itself soon. To fully upend the status quo in southern China, we need to strike the center power Jiangsu province. Our ace in the hole is... Zhang Teju Bureau to fill the clicks territory with nationalist cells will surely cause mass sabotage in their defenses. Oh. Hmm. Stupid sexy Flanders. I love you guys. Look how big this tree is, by the way. It keeps going down and down and down. There's lots of stuff to do. Well, we can't start another front. I think what I'll do is I'll just pick up the 100 workshops. The off-map military factory will be super useful. Oh, yeah, and then we get the research slot. Um, I mean, we still have the means to produce our own inf um, infantry equipment, right? Like, if we take a look over here, we've only got a single military factory currently. So unlocking a new tech isn't that useful. I think what we do is we swing back over to in industry and we, uh, we unlock some of this stuff here in preparation for building our in in industry. There you go. All right, you've poked through, which is great. Um, you're insisting over there, which is okay. But I think what I want you to do is cross the river. Revolutionaries take over Mongolia. Much like Tibet, news from Mongolian capital Urka is sparse. For many years, status quo of the nation's been under leadership. A Russian Baron Roman von Person. Revolutionary army. Okay. Cross the river and then maybe hold it. I mean, I'd like to grab another victory point there. But that might be a bridge too far. Okay. It's only one bridge. Kingdom of Siam declared war on the Siamese Federation. Civil War. Oh, look at those borders. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Does off-map mean the real world? Yeah. Yeah, shipping in goods from the real world. Oh, and you're going to come and try to close that. Well, we'll just get in a position to defend. You'll be attacking us across river. The... Bauer Redet Rebellion. Oh, this is a Siamese Revolution. Okay. There you go. Just trying to give him, like, a multiple combat front penalty. So that he can't take us there. If we fail to attack him there, that's okay. There it is. Halt. Excellent. We'll get some digging and stuff. We'll be okay over there. So it looks like there's some pushing going on. So, I mean, we're not running on a super high speed. And uh, a Kaiser I think, does run a little slower than Vanilla Hoy. Um, so even if we were on fifth speed, it wouldn't be crazy fast. But mostly it's the fact that our infantry pushes are going to be slow. Um, we're close to winning. <laughs> infantry. Yeah, our equipment is still, like, huge deficit. Massive deficit. So a lot of our guys are just running around without any guns at all. Oh, decision is... Okay, we can integrate. Oh, we can mobilize. Yes, let's absolutely mobilize right over here. So in uh, two weeks, we'll get a couple more militias. It's definitely what we want. What is the Southern Unite China focus? Oh, Unite Southern China over here. So if we do these two, yeah. The KMT must control, pacify the rest of southern China. For any attempts, the second Norden expedition must take place. So I think it'd mostly just be expanding south and then lead to an expansion north. I haven't gotten that far in the tree before. I, I loaded up the game a little bit before the stream just to get an idea about the events so I wouldn't pick the wrong one and become the wrong person. But Hey, it's uh, Gaokami again. Thank you. Just enjoying your stream while hauling, hauling cargo in endless sky. Awesome free game, wink wink. I don't know what the wink wink is for, but it is an awesome free game. 
Endless Sky is a free and open source. It is a lovely thing and a lot of fun to play. 100 arsenals, uh, workshops, arsenals, there you go. Uh, seize German capital. We get 1,000 units of Gewehr 98. I'm assuming that's infantry equipment, but I don't know. German Empire would hate us a fair bit. But if this is a bunch of military equipment, we have to grab this. Gore is gun. Okay, it's rifles. Yeah, alright, good. And yeah, you're just gonna be able to hold that with digging. We got some attrition going on over here. It's probable... Oh, I was gonna say, maybe we've got some um, lack of infrastructure... Or broken infrastructure, but it's just a lack thereof. Um, Actually, I don't see any red blips. So they're not actually out of supply. It might just be um, a flow, like, locally in the province. What? It's not winter. Why are you being, um, why are you being attritioned? Hang on, how do I... Oh, it's very hot! It's too hot, you guys! Yeah, it's middle of summer! Okay. So other than getting acclimated to the heat, there's nothing really we can do about that. International avant-garde. Commune of France, Union of Britain. Un unified art style. For art and genre music. It's always good when the government dictates what kind of art is correct. You know, I think, like, art really could do with a lot more sort of structure and organization and, and authoritarian guidance. I think that really does improve art considerably. All right, these new troops, what am I going to do? I'm going to make a second army here. Give them... Mm, there's not forts. We're not going to be crossing a river. Commando out of supply reconnaissance. I think this guy might be useful. I like Skirmisher. Unlocking the probe attack, maybe? It's whiskey and chocolate! So, I'm going to give these guys that order and to take that. Get in position, make the plan. Oh, and free stuff. We got the volunteers! Yay! And we got more whiskey and chocolate! Uh, hold on. Will streams are now the only legal form of entertainment when I'm king of the world! Uh, just though, thank you very much for the contribution to the whiskey and chocolate fund. Or just ho. Don't know how to parse your name, my bad. Hey, Quill, thanks for creating the awesomest content. Learn a ton from your streams. Keep fighting the good fight, you beautiful human being. Well, thank you very much, Jess. That is super appreciated. Hoping everyone's having fun with this. I mean, I feel like this, this war is like a slow grind, but hopefully it's good. Does your Tigress leader lady have any interesting traits? So, did she actually get in position somewhere here? She just, she's a general, right. She's a level one general. Right here. Uh, media personality. No, that's it. It's <laughs> woohoo all the time. No, I'm not drawing. Right, so this is a bug that exists in Hearts of Iron. When you click on something, see how like animates this like battle plan's coming up? If you double click, so normally double click an army zooms the screen there, right? So if you're over here, if you double click, it'll sometimes, the second click will be eaten by this thing that's sort of going up. So it'll tell you, it'll give you that warning of like, oh, it'll cancel all your orders. Just happens sometimes. Very annoying to me. With DLC, you're running all DLC and the Kaiserreich mod. But these guys are being attacked again. Well, it's a good thing we're reinforcing. Oh, these guys are being attacked from the north by the other group. Yeah, just fend off this attack. I mean, there we go. And... I, I'm wondering if it's whoever starts moving first is the person who claims that. Unless I just can make the push onto Ang King. It seems doubtful. But I don't know, one of these guys just broke. Oh no, they didn't they didn't break. So now it's only one. We could assist from the south as well. Or from here. Uh, let me just take one of these guys. And here the push isn't doing anything. I mean, you know, these guys are attacking across the river, which is obviously bad. But they still provide a little bit more muscle. And the multiple directions bonus. 
radio for reinforcement rates. We're going to grab mechanical computer for faster research rate now. An well, engine would be great, um, but there's too many dudes sitting there right now. We're progressing here. Indochina declares independence. Oh, we got some resistance to occupation brewing. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Is it over here, really? I guess it's not considered part of our core. Yet. Oh! Soviet Russia declares war on the Russian Republic. Soviet Russia doesn't usually survive, but one day we'll have to play as Russia in here and try to make Soviet Russia. Seize German capital is done, giving us a bunch of equipment. That's going to be handy. Uh, we could get some more equipment if we consolidate control and more war support. I mean, I think we have to keep doing this. I think we have to offset the fact that we have such an equipment deficit, which is obviously making our troops fight like ass. Nearly done here. Kingdom of Finland declares war in the Russian Republic. Okay. It's a bit of a different winter war, but sure. So, yes. Uh, mass assault is done. And then pocket defense. That will be really handy with some of the low supply areas here. Even if we're not getting cut off, there's a lot of value in something like that. Yeah, it's only yellow here. And peacefully flip Soviet? Yeah, it doesn't usually do it. Oh, okay. Well, then that might be fun, too. That might be what, what is next, is a Soviet run. 99. One of the nice things about this as well is it is going to free up some extra troops. Although, we may want to keep pushing, because these guys probably don't have much in the way of uh, morale. Cancel that. Can you attack from there? Oh, no, you can't. But you can assist here. Okay. Yeah, let's throw that in. As I say, could free up more troops for over here, but pushing towards Nanjing would be nice. Especially, it's not being attacked from the other side, so if we can make it fall, it will come to us. Well, I mean, we'll occupy it. That doesn't mean we're going to get it in the peace deal. Man, they still have a lot of, uh, of hold. I guess Nanjing's worth a lot of victory points. 30 victory points. Yeah, okay, that's pretty substantial. Empty province next to Nanjing? Uh... No? I mean... Or was this one empty for a second? Oh, okay. They may have moved in too quick for us to do anything. Although, uh, Hefei is mostly empty now. I kind of don't want to... Uh, I haven't actually made that much progress here. Now, I think continuing this attack is still correct. Are you aware of the army reform decision? It's super important. Um, I've noticed it in the list. Should I save up? Oh, this is... I need experience, right? Yeah. Hun yes. Yes. 150 army experience. If I get that, I can reform it. Get 10% boost to attack and defense. It's huge. But yeah, we need a bunch of army experience. Um, yeah, we'll integrate this province. Got multiple tiers too, so it's not just 150. Oh, like you have to do it again and again. Oh, do we currently have a minus 50% to attack and defense? Oh. Oh. I mean, I don't think we're alone in having like terrible stats over here, but oh. Consolidate control is done, giving us more equipment. The war support's pretty handy, too. Um, yeah, we can't do anything more military over here. 
I don't think the naval presence we need to necessarily pursue. We can't control the Central Railroad yet, which means we can't come through here yet. Um, we can go with Legal Code, which actually makes integrating faster. And since the political power cost is per day, doing that before we'd integrated may have been better, but there'll be more integrations coming. Yeah, then maybe what we'll do is we'll start supporting the KMT somewhere else. The thing is, I'm just worried that it'll trigger another war on another front. I don't know if it will. I don't know the events well enough. If, like, if it just lets us, like, just flat out just annex some dudes or something, that would be, like, oh, I should have done that sooner. Oh, was it op empty for a second? It's not right now. Maybe it was just a zoom thing, too. The thing is, if they're moving in and out, like, likely we can't get there um, before they fill up again. Because they move a lot faster on their territory than we can invade. That's... Oh. Philip. Why did... Did one of you stop attacking? Get back in there. Oh, we're going to lose that. But in the meantime, we're still helping out a fair bit over here. But yeah, we have such crap stats. This guy's eventually going to get pushed out, but that's okay. Oh, Ols Floyd B. Olson, elected president of the USA. Progressive ticket. Campaigned, uh, drew unprecedented allies from both Democrats and Republicans, seeking alternative to populist and partisan hacks. Uh-huh. I'm sure that's going to end out fine. He yeah, never does that. Don't often see that. Wait, is there going to be no civil war? Wait, is that what that means? Does electing this guy means there's not going to be a civil war? You might get a USA, a US only civil war. The last time we did a Let's Play of this, weird things happened as well. Because I was saying, usually I'm used to this fracturing in like four. The last time we played as Belgium, it only split, I think, into two. The South won. Then that guy got assassinated and replaced with like the leader of the KKK. The Silver Legion, something like that. I was like, what the hell? It was very, like, I mean, I know this is alt history, but this went really alt. Every time Quill plays, Kaiser breaks the normal US. I'm not even involved over there. It's kind of amazing. All right, 98%. Oh, yeah, we're going to... It is possible for the USA to avoid civil war? No. Yeah, the U US of America, caca. That's right. Anyone moving up there? Yeah, someone is. We may not be able to, to save it. No, I got someone else in there. Let's throw you in as well. Just try to hold that. Get some digging. Well, I'm not going to get digging to anyone we add, but... Man. Any more you can only mitigate the war? It's not possible that we have to avoid the Civil War anymore. Okay. It can happen in a variety of ways depending on who wins the election. Okay. So, all right, we're going to go and take one of these supports. We don't know what it's going to do. We'll uh, support the KMT in Liangguang. It's over here. There you go. Looks like we are going to hold that now. Oh my god, we have a free civilian factory. I think I'm just going to build more civilian factories for now. Because we have no economy whatsoever. So, what happens if we counterattack here? Assuming it's not going to be fantastic. Yeah, they have too many dudes. Basic machine tools. Uh, concentrate industry. Um, actually, I guess we'll go construction speed first. Eh. I don't know. So I can only attack here from two provinces, one of which is currently under attack, so we can't really make a move yet. But yeah, I think I'll uh, reassign Golden Group to just be next to Hegfi over here. Did you go 
No one is moving in. These guys started moving. Like, well, I can't attack them because these guys are busy. I was going to say to pin them down. And that's not going to cut anyone off, but... Need an empty province emote. We need, like, an alert for it. Like, an audible one. 96. Are we finally going to break through here? 98? I don't know what's going on here with that guy. 99? Hey! And, yeah, I think these guys are cut off. Okay, good. We're going to go and fill that in. And we did land here. Fortified. Oh yeah, there's a fort here, isn't there? Level two levels of forts. Ouch. Maybe I was too slow. 